Actually, what I'm trying to do is to point out in a vivid way that this is somebody with an 18th century name and a 13th century conception of how women should live in America, and that's what I'm trying to do right now. But you're also twisting his words. I mean, you've taken a speech that he gave, you, you edited it incredibly selectively, so it makes it sound like he's saying, you know, women submit to your men, submit to your husbands, when in fact that's not what he was saying in that speech. I don't agree with that. I think, by the way, they've pulled down the entire tape, so you can no longer look at the entire 20-minute speech that he gave. But I've seen that speech, and I think that that reflects exactly what his conception of women actually are, as judged by 30 years of experience in public life. You must admit, though, that you selectively edited his statements to, to say something other than what he was talking about at that time. We wouldn't be allowed to do that in news. What, what gives you the right to do that when you're trying to get people's votes? Well, as I said before, we've moved away from the whole subject of whether he was, he was quoted in context, quoted out of context. Well, he was quoted out That's of context. That's not what matters argue that. I mean, he was quoted out of context. There's no doubt. I, I don't know why you keep saying I can't argue this, that, or the other thing. I don't, I don't agree with what your position is here, Anderson, and I, I think that people can reasonably disagree. But what is the first thing that a career politician says when he's called to answer for his own words? These were his words, not mine. The first thing a career politician like Daniel Webster says is, I was quoted out of context. That was his full statement. You're saying you didn't take him out of context at all? Well, actually, the term that you used last week is that we cleverly edited it, and I will let other people decide whether that was clever or not. But the point is, this is an ad that hasn't run for four days, and you seem to be anxious to drag it out for some reason that I really don't understand. Let's talk well, let, about let, let the me, facts. Let's well, talk let me about tell you, the let record me, here. Let me tell you why. Because you are running for Congress, you throw this ad out on television, and then you don't answer any questions about it for days. Then you finally come on television in the last couple of days, and you say, oh, well, look, that was last week. Why do we have to talk about it? I mean, if you believe in this ad, you should stand up for it. And I appreciate you coming on, because, frankly, there's a lot of other candidates who don't have the guts to, to come on and talk about it. But I think it's a little disingenuous to say, well, look, this was a week ago, you know, let's move on. Anderson, it's a little disingenuous for you to say that I avoided answering questions about this ad. You are not the only show on TV. I've looked at the transcript. In fact, I answered all sorts of questions about this ad from the moment it started to run. You're trying to make it sound like I hid from this when that's absolutely not true.